This is a wonderful video. I'm sorry, I'm sure it will be wonderful. Can you play the entirety of Shark Tale on the PS2 and point out inaccuracies? You know, Ghost Boy, something tells me this isn't the first time you've made this joke. I can't remember the specific occasion which you said this already, but I'm pretty sure you have. Anyways, this is called This Shark Has Only Been Seen Twice in History. What shark has only been seen twice in history? Maybe some, like, fossil shark that we've only found, like, two fossils of? I can't think of a shark that's... Megamouth? No. We've definitely seen a Megamouth more than two times. Sharknado. Yeah, that's the answer. That must be it. Is it Megamouth? Wait, have we only ever seen two Megamouths in history? That's not true. Maybe two alive, like underwater, but not two in general. Deep in the ocean, there are strange and even scary creatures, but the most dangerous are sharks. There are the about most dangerous are species of them. Some species can grow up to... Is that true? Is the most dangerous thing in the ocean sharks? No, probably not. Creature-wise? I'm trying to think. What It's probably sharks, right? Even though they're not dangerous relatively... They're not dangerous generally, relative, I guess, to other ones. 20 meters, and some of them can... The narrator makes me not trust the video. What do you got against the narrator, bro? He's just got a very deep register. ...fit into a pocket. Jellyfish! Jellyfish. That's it. I knew there was something in the ocean that killed people more than... More than, uh... More than sharks. Yeah, it's definitely jellyfish. It's definitely not orcas. Maybe in, like, terms of what they're capable of, but orcas don't hurt people in the wild. But imagine you and your friends are spending the weekend on a yacht. You're surrounded by yeah. sunshine Me and, and my friends have a yacht. And suddenly, a wave moves the yacht up. The keys to your house fall out of your pocket and... Why were you standing on the edge of the yacht with the keys to your house? All overboard. To get them, you'd have to dive deep into the this ocean. This is knockoff Brightside. This isn't even Brightside. Fucking riddle. We're literally watching knockoff Brightside. And meet the creepiest deep sea sharks. In this video, you'll find out which sharks hunt whales. Is their life in water of sub zero temperatures? And what creepy sharks hide deep underwater? Encounter the swell shark. This species is found the in the eastern shark? Pacific Ocean between central California and southern Mexico. The maximum length of this shark is 110 centimeters. What but is scary about to it other at all? Sharks, it has very few teeth, only about 60. Swell sharks are sociable creatures. They're social and adorable. Look how adorable that is. What do you mean? How is this the fucking... First of all, the title... This still makes no sense. Shark has only been seen twice in history. And what about this is scary? Look at how adorable he is. He just looks like a cat. Actually sleep on top of other sharks That's in scary. rock crevices. When the shark feels threatened, it grabs its tail fin with its mouth and sucks in water. Doing so causes the shark to enlarge in diameter and makes it much harder for predators to take a... It just gets fat. <laughs> wow, it's horrifying. Oh no. If you piss off this tiny social shark, it will make itself fat. That's what I'm scared of. I'm scared of it making itself fat. Bite out of it. This shark we've only seen twice, but somehow there's tons of video footage of it. I guess so. Or to get rid of puffer the swell fish shark. shark. Yeah, puffer fish aren't scary. Why would a puffer fish shark be scary? You just have to scare it. Take your. Why the fuck did I just get jump scared by Freddy Fazbear? Head with you and show the shark your favorite screamer with Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Why? Just remember to take the waterproof case. Otherwise, it won't be the shark to rush all the way ashore, but you. <laughs> what happened to... Okay, so I... Hold on. I'm just trying to follow the narrative here. I dropped my house keys from the edge of my yacht that I was on with my friends. I decided to go scuba diving to go find my house keys. I encounter a swell shark. I say, hey, look at this. I pull out my iPad. I pull up my favorite horror movie. And I start showing the swell shark my favorite horror movie. Right? That, that's John, where we're at in the story. Now you can go deeper. Oh, no. This time, you're meeting the frilled shark. Classic. If you're wearing a hat, I Show don't think respect. you, if you're on a weekend yacht with your friends, you're going into waters where you can drop your keys down to where there's a fucking frilled shark. 
triangular teeth that are arranged in 25 rows. Oh, its no. long jaws allow the animal to gape extra wide and take in prey half as Dude, long as Dude, it must be so profitable to make these animations. I should get into like making fake scary animations of sharks. Do you know how many times I've seen that exact animation of the frilled shark's teeth? Probably hundreds in videos at this point. And assuming that they have to pay for the rights to use that, I could be a fucking millionaire just off of making models of shark teeth. Its body. What to do if the frilled I just look shark? Up, make a particularly scary looking frilled shark and like goblin shark or whatever, and just make billions off of bright side and these guys. Approaches you. Take advantage of its weakness. The thing is that. Let me guess what's next. Oh wow. Shark. Who's shark? It it's the goblin the most shark. Gratifying encounter you've ever had. For that one video where they it would took you through the story of getting swallowed by a goblin shark, cutting your way out of its stomach, and then writing a novel about it. <laughs> In addition to their creepy appearance, They're these so sharks cute. can boast okay, well, of having bad flexible photo. Bad jaws. Angle. Bad angle. They jut out to catch prey. Just look how the juvenile goblin shark is trying to have a bite of a diver. Had it been a th that scary. He tried to have a bite of him and nothing happened. He gave it his best fucking bite and did nothing. Three and a half meters long adult, the diver would have lost his arm. So if it gets in your way, just show it the poster with the fit and jacked king shark. It'll what? <laughs> what are these suggestions? This is okay. Oh, it's cool. It's comedy. It's cool. It's comedy. It's sarcasm. We're just showing. We're just showing sharks our favorite things. Get upset and yeah, yeah, swim we'll away, and you'll be able to go deeper in search of your keys. Before you reach a depth of 2,000 meters, you may encounter the blunt-nosed six-gill shark. That picture has five gills. Why are you using a fucking stock image that has five gills? You could add on one line. It would not have been that hard to just draw an extra line here. Thousand meters. The teeth on They're their so upper jaw resembles hooked fangs, while the teeth on the just showing the fucking like the jaws and the teeth of these sharks does not make them scary. They're so cute and docile. Lower one looked like tiny saws. Meeting such a shark could be fatal, except for one thing. The blunt nosed six skill sharks aren't eager to meet you as much as you do. Divers who tried to approach or touch these sharks reported that they would immediately swim away into the deep. Anyway, I wouldn't They're so cute touching and docile. The shark. Look at him. His dorsal fin, what the fuck is it doing way back there? How'd your dorsal fin get there, buddy? How'd that happen? What happened? You're a shark, but literally every the rest of your body is bare. Look at this guy looking at the camera! Oh my god, this is a fucking adorable. I want this as an emote. If this was a high quality image, I would want this as an emote. Shark with your bare hands. Ah, look at his face! At least wear a thick glove to protect your hand from the shark's teeth. Is that the fucking Thanos glove? Bite. But let's go even deeper. At a even depth deep. of 2,200 meters, the Greenland shark is waiting for you. The average lifespan of this species is... That's what I'm supposed to be scared of? That's what you're showing me that I'm supposed to be horrified of? It's estimated to be 250 years, and some individuals live up to 500 years. No it's way. a record not only for sharks, but for all vertebrates. Probably. That eye is photoshopped, right? It's Why is the eye so not blue? Only for Someone photoshopped a fucking, like, Mr. Potato Head eye onto this Greenland shark. Sharks, preferable water <laughs> habitat. I love their faces. They look like grandpas. You know how, like, old people, like, their lips kind of curve inwards? I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense, but, like, on, like, really old humans, their lips kind of, like, curve inwards, like, like this. That's what they look like they're doing at all times. May drop That's the to lack of teeth. Degree. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Old people don't have teeth, and the Greenland shark doesn't have those visible teeth up there, so they look like they've... It's just the gum look. How did we get into these waters for our car keys? I don't know. Apparently, we went on a yacht in the middle of the Arctic Ocean with our friends for a weekend trip, uh, where we then dropped our house keys. They're flesh poisonous. The Greenland shark... Has Seems like it would be easier to just get new house keys than to go diving to the bottom of the Arctic. Uh, fighting a bunch of sharks on the way there, but hey, who knows? There, its average speed is 1.6 kilometers per hour. Well, Therefore, now. if you encounter it while well, you're looking for keys... Uh, I could walk backwards faster than, let's see, one mile an hour? That's like... 
a very slow walk, right? Because if I do a slow walk, I think I can still get like a 20 minute mile. So that's like a slow walk, one minute and then two minutes break and then slow walk a minute and then two minutes break for an hour. At the bottom of the ocean, you fish. have the advantage. You have to get ready to turn it upside down. After that, you'll have about 15 minutes to get away. It disorients the shark and causes it to- That's not a Greenland shark specific thing. That's just all fish or all sharks. You just flip them upside down and they just fucking stop existing. I think I literally talked about this earlier in the TikTok time. Tonic immobility is so fucking funny. It's one of my favorite things about fish. The fact that you can just turn them upside down. Yeah, get rotated, idiot. <laughs> that gif, the get rotated, idiot. You just rotate them upside down and they, they just go... They just, like, they go unconscious, basically. They just don't exist. To enter a trance-like state, scientists still don't know why this happens. That's not true at all. We do know why it happens. It's for mating. But the trick with flipping the shark upside down is used not only by divers, but also by some male sharks during mating. Yeah, that's why it happens. <laughs> Tonic immobility exists for mating. What do you mean we don't know why it is? And then he shows a video of them doing it during mating. However, I forgot to tell you that the Greenland shark can weigh about a ton. So you'd better take a watch chain and try to put the shark into a hypnotic trance like they do in the movies. Just swing the watch in front of its snout until the shark... All right, I'm over this. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. This is a stupid video. I've lost patience. In my early days, I had a lot more patience for these stupid ass videos. I've lost my patience. Thank you everybody for hanging out. I hope you had a good day and enjoyed stream. Woo!